So in this episode, we are going to clean up the block. Now I'm going to take the water pump off, I'm going to take the oil pump off. And also today, while I was doing a workout at the gym, I was on eBay and I ordered some temperature senders. So they'll fit in that one and for the water, they're exactly the same. So then we'll have all the gauges working, which is awesome. Um, yeah, let's get stuck into it. So we've got to clean up the bench, keep all the GT stuff together. Dad said he's going to make a garden ornament out of this. He's going to make a little dog with four legs. Use a piston as a head. <laughs> Uh, some of the things he comes out with. I've got the oil pump over here. Not going to touch that. Got water pump over here. Which is different. Alright, let's have a look. Yep, you can't use that one. Okay. Clean up this one. The new one. To show you the differences. So at the moment the block is the same, it's um, just the bolt-on stuff that has been different. So we've got the water pump here, thermostat housing down the bottom, and one out. This is the GT one, thermostat housing on the front, got oil cooler that comes in, that I've bypassed. And then we have two that come out, we've only got one. So, I'm going to clean this up. Um, I'll look to see. I'll look to see if there's upgrades. But if there isn't an, like an actual upgrade, then I'll clean this up. Yeah, maybe another bearing. We'll see. Alright. Okay, we'll just see if there's any difference in oil pumps. Physically. Physically it looks the same. But then, you know, we'll look at some numbers. R03, got M10. M10 is just a thread. Yeah, these mounting points here are the same. Um, same. We don't really have to get it off to have a look. Check some numbers. See if there's any part numbers. The only difference at the moment is that M10 that's actually stamped into it. And we've got a 10 up here. Whereas up here we've got a 7. Could that be millimeters? Too bad. <sighs> so 
thought this did look weird. Um, got one of these little guides here that I need to get out. It's on the gearbox. It's got both the pins in the gearbox. I need to pop that one out or it will never go in. But, let's take this wheel off now. Alright, that is coming off. Hopefully it's okay. Um, so I've got two crates at the moment. Uh, new block, old block. Uh, looks like it's been leaking a little bit. But we're going to replace all those seals. So, just more about the internals. <coughs> if you ever have to undo these inspection plates here, make sure you have the right sized Phillips head screwdriver, otherwise you're just going to strip it. Now I've got a little clamp on the end of it so it's a bit easier. But yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to turn this around, try to keep it on the drag, um, and clean up the metal bench over there, oh, we're not getting it on there, but for now, but it will stay, yeah, that's a bit annoying with the window behind you guys, you can't see as much. get a cooler one so running compound turbo it's the heat from the turbos will most likely heat it up Is that a gasket or a shoe? There we go. <laughs> it's like coffee stain. Oh, GT. So yeah, a big difference between the GT and the, uh, the old Impreza. There's a difference. Was it? Okay, guys, just taking the oil pump off now. Nine nine five three. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see this because you guys are on charge, but <coughs> the um, crossover pipe for the water is quite a bit different on that Impreza so just test fitting this one alright ok 
because I want to see if that bolt will fit in, which it will. So I'm going to use that because that goes into oil, oil gallery. Use that for. I'll put these back in. No, right, put them in the bag. Um, I'm going to use that for the low mount instead of running it from the other side of the car on the uh, relocation kit. So, come down. I'll find a way. But, or I could use that one for the GT35 and use the one that's on the head for the low mount. Might work better that way. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna I'll crack all the the bolts to um, split it so they're easy to get off. And um, when Dad comes home, hopefully he can get the pistons out. Oh, I'll, I've got a couple of sessions to do at work and then I'll come back and I'll pick up Marley, come back and then back at 7 again so a little bit of time These two are now cracked. When I cracked this one, a bit of air came out of it. So I'm guessing, put the bolt in, and there's still air in there. So compressors, I guess, and psh, came out. It's weird, never seen that before. So hopefully, we can get this in the parts cleaner Friday or over the weekend. I would like to do a little bit of work to the casing as well. Yeah, clean it up, make it look pretty. Uh, it's just cosmetically, but that's what I want to do. And whatever, I don't care. Maybe even take some of the casting lines out um, on the inside of the block as well. So we get the oil moving around a bit better. <coughs> and now it's going to create less surface area for the oil to cool. But, so we get an upgraded oil pump. So the oil cooler works, so I'll get new lines for the oil cooler. And get rid of that stupid idea of putting one-way valve in there. 